You guys probably already know this by now, but there are a lot of ways you can open a wine bottle. Um, there's crazy fancy mechanical corkscrews, you know, pump up style corkscrews, these blade thingies, um, just all different kinds of corkscrews. So what I'm going to do for this little series is um, go through really just every kind of corkscrew I can get my hands on and give it a thorough test and review. Um, so you can decide that if you need it in your collection. I know I like to just have a lot of corkscrews around. And if nothing else, they make for nice decoration in the bar um, and just nice conversation, even if you gravitate to only one or two at the end of the day. Um, so today, I'm going to go over the True Tap Waiter's Corkscrew. And these are just your standard Waiter's Corkscrew. But what I really like about the True Tap design is it has this two-stage um, kind of lift-off anchor point thing. It's got a little bit of a pivot here and the edges of the part that touches the bottle are actually bent over because I've had cheaper versions of these um, where it'll actually chip the bottle when you actually press against it here. Uh, and these things are really still very cheap. They're only about five dollars each. Um, you can get them in all different kinds of colors and um, yeah, here's a green one and they have a little um, knife to open the foil also. Uh, so we'll go ahead and just give this a test. I've corked, freshly corked three bottles here and um, I'm just going to go ahead and use the True Tap uh, style waiter's corkscrew to unscrew these. Another cool thing about this one, and this this is the case with a lot of waiter's corkscrews, but it has a uh, a bottle opener on it as well, so you can open a beer bottle, and it's cool that it just um, fits in your pocket. So here we go. Actually, I'm just going to set it here, and we'll see how long it takes from the time I pick it up till the time I open the bottle, and I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to open it like I normally would. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so I'd say that was pretty respectable. Um, I don't think it's r really on the fast side as far as corkscrews go. Um, but it's really not bad. And I think if you get good with one of these, if you're an actual professional bartender, you're probably way faster than I am right here. Um, but in terms of speed, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give this thing about a like a five or a six. It's kind of right in the middle of the road. It's not great, but um, it's not bad. Uh, my second point that I'll rate it on is how easy is it to use? Uh, I would say this is one of the easier corkscrews to use aside from the crazy mechanical fancy big gigantic ones or lever operated ones. Uh, I would give this probably an eight out of ten in terms of how easy is it to use. Where this really wins is um, portability. How portable is it? And these little waiter's corkscrews are awesome. You can just throw them in your pocket, you can throw one in your car, you can put one in your... Well, you can't really put one in your wallet, but you can stick it about anywhere and it's... It's really just gonna... It's like keeping a pen with you, basically. Um, next is reliability. And again, I mean, there's really not much that can go wrong with these little waiter's corkscrews. I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's got a really nice 
uh, worm, I guess you would call this, where it actually seems to really grip the corks well. I've seen some of the machine style worms where it'll actually kind of rip out. Um, these these ones have actually more of a, they have some grooves on the worm. So these ones really work really good. Uh, durability, uh, again, I mean, I don't think you could really break this thing unless you were really trying to. And then cool factor, um, I would say it's probably, I think these are pretty cool. I would give this about a 7 out of 10 cool factor. And then just overall, honestly, I know this scored kind of middle of the road in a lot of places, but these are seriously my favorite little corkscrews. Like I said, they're only five, about 5 bucks, and you can just have these laying around everywhere. So if you have people over, you're never looking for a corkscrew. You just always kind of have one laying around. So, um, overall, I would say this is a great corkscrew. I'd probably give it about a 8 out of 10 as an overall score for this corkscrew. Uh, in, in this series, I'm just going to go over, like I said, every corkscrew I can get my hands on. I'm going to give some away. So if I can get any free corkscrews from the companies that make them, um, I'll do a giveaway so that you guys can enter in and... Um, whether it be the best comment or something, I'll let you, somebody win the corkscrew. Uh, and if you have any crazy style ways to open wine that you have heard of and you want me to try out, let me know in the comments and I'll do what I can to try to uh, get my hands on one of those and give it a try. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you can get notified of new videos. And check out my other channel, the Cool Stuff Guys Like channel. And also check out my website, uh, smartwinemaking.com. Thanks for watching.